Hello guys. Um, so here we want to solve these two problems. <clears throat> um, and they use the language of the nature of the roots of quadratic equations. So we want to find, question one, find the values of P for which this quadratic equation has equal roots. All right? Remember we said equal roots, number one. For equal roots, we require that if AX squared plus BX plus C is zero, then for equal roots, B squared minus 4AC must be equal to zero. Okay, so from the quadratic equation, our A there is P, B is 12, and then C is equal to nine. Okay, which means that B squared minus 4AC is equal to 12 squared, right? 12 squared minus 4, A is P, C is 9, all right? This has to be equal to 0. Now, from here, 12 squared is 144, right? Minus 9 times 4 is 36. So you have 36P, this is equal to 0. So you just have a linear equation to solve for P. This means that 36P is equal to 144, divided through by 36, and by 36, this cancels out, and P will be equal to 144 divided by 36 is equal to 4, which means the value of P for which this quadratic equation has equal roots is 4, the number 4. Okay? Good. Then, um, the second question, um, I'll leave this here. The second question says, we want to, uh, we want to find the range of values of M, all right, for which this quadratic equation is positive. This is important. The equation is positive. Remember we said that for complex roots, the equation is positive, is above the x-axis, or negative, below the x-axis. So once you see the quadratic equation to be positive, it means that you want the equation to be above the x-axis. And that is the case when you have complex eigenvalue, complex, sorry, uh, roots, okay? So for the case of positive, for the quadratic equation to be positive or to be negative, b squared, the discriminant minus 4ac, has to be less than zero. Okay? In this case, our, well, we need to rewrite this in a, as a quadratic equation. So we have x squared, right, plus 3x. There's x here, we bring that here. This is minus mx plus 1 is equal to zero, right? This equation. And this can also be rewritten as x squared. I'm going to factorize x out. So I have three minus m, x plus one is equal to zero. So it's in this form, right? Okay, so now we know our a is one, right? The coefficient of x squared. B is this guy, three minus m, and c is just one, okay? Then we plug it into this expression because for the equation to be positive, we require that b squared minus 4 is has to be less than 0. So we put all this over here and then solve the quadratic inequality. Okay? So let's do it. And then we solve it. So get rid of this. We have the equation over there. And so when we solve this, what do we get? B is this quantity 3 minus m, so we have 3 minus m squared minus 4, a is 1, c is 1, all right? This has to be less than 0, okay? So we're going to have, if I expand this, I'm going to have 9 minus 6m plus m squared, right? Minus 4, this is less than 0. I'll write it as a quadratic. This is m squared minus 6m. 9 minus 4 is 5, so plus 5 is less than 0. So basically, the question is asking you to solve this quadratic inequality. 
to find the radial values of tan. Okay? How do you do that? Well, we've learned a couple of ways you can solve quadratic inequalities, right? So, first, I'm going to find the roots of this, roots of the um, equation. We look for factors of 5, that will add up to give us negative 6. And that will be negative 1 and negative 5, right? This and this is 5, this plus this is this. So this can also be written as m minus 1 and m minus 5, right? So the root of this equation of this is m equals 1 and or m is equal to 5. Alright? Good. So now to solve it, you can use the intervals. You can use intervals or you can sketch the quadratic, right? The parabola. Okay? So because the coefficient is positive, it's going to be a minimum. Okay, so we're going to have this. It's a minimum that is going to cut 1 and 5. So the roots are 1 and 5. But the quadratic has to be less than 0, negative. Now the part of the graph that is below x is a negative part. So this part is negative. And the values of x for which this is negative are the values of x between 1 and 5. So from this, we can state that x, sorry, m in this case, right? Not x, it's m. So m in this case must lie between 1 and what? And 5. The values of m greater than 1 and less than 5 will be the set or the range of values of m for which the quadratic equation will have, will be positive, right? For all values of x, all right? If the question had said, find the values for which the quadratic will be negative, we will really go, we'll go through the same procedure. Alright, because the quadratic is positive or negative, when you have complex eigenvalues for which b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. Okay, so this is the range of values of m uh, for that to hold. Okay, so the last bit we'll be looking at later will be how do you form quadratic equation giving the roots of the equation.